So by the looks of it, we need to try and get up there. Is there a way of doing that? I don't recall. Um, still hoping for a friend. Hello. <laughs> Not seen anyone in such a long time. This area here is really, really good to have a friend with because the cold temperatures will reduce um, your scarf power over time. I don't know if it does it here, but I, oh, it, yes, it does it here, look, because the cold temperatures, they reduce your scarf power gradually. But if you have an ally near you, you can use your body heat to warm each other up and uh, it really does help out. I don't think going near these is gonna do too much for us. I think all they're really good for is uh, giving us a bit of scarf power as and when we need it, but you know, oh, I need to do a burp. Wow, well, um, fingers crossed we don't get caught by one of those things, because uh, I saw a guy, well, I also got hit as well, uh, yes, bad memories there, um, but I also saw a guy with a very long scarf get hit by one of those things, and he had such a short scarf afterwards, it was basically like a level one scarf, and it was so difficult for him to get around after that, I basically had to try and carry him. Wow, these are familiar. Can I do anything with these? No. These look very familiar. I think I've seen them on some of the drawings before. And this is where your scarf power goes down a lot. So we need to be very, very careful. And uh, we don't actually have any scarf power at all. We need to try and hide behind these when the gusts of wind come. Otherwise we'll get blown back. Are the gusts of winds even coming anymore? Oh, there we go. Finally. quickly make a dash. Oh, things are coming up from underneath. Uh, I suppose they'll be helpful if we need to jump, but given the wind, uh, jumping isn't always advised. Alright, I think I might be able to make it to a... Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know the timing, it might change the closer we get. Oh no, I think it's changed. That's what you get for not having any patience. You gotta try and play it slow, try and play it smart. Ah, something I'm not very good at. But it's something I've just gotta try and learn if I wanna get through this game. Alright, slow and steady wins the race, as they say. But then again, that story never really made much sense to me. Because a rabbit could just win, instead of being such a cocky little twat. But you know, one of those things, I suppose. Good story to tell children. But realistically, if you want to win a race, you just go fast. You know, just keep going, don't stop, win. <laughs> but in this scenario here, we need to be slow. We need to be cautious, we need to be steady. Stay behind these little pillars here. And uh, hope for the best, hope we don't get blown back, because I can imagine getting very close to the end and then getting blown all the way back to the start. Was this a bad idea? I really hope not. Seems to be okay. Alright, can I activate these? Oh, as you can see, uh, we're not particularly doing well when it comes to chiming, and I can't activate them. Yeah, uh, having a little friend here... Oh, my control is vibrating like mad. This does not feel good. Yeah, having a friend here would have been a lot easier. Oh, hello. I suppose I don't need a friend if I've got you here. So we're going to keep each other warm. And hopefully, I can use their power to help me traverse this area a lot easier. Oh my god, the moon. That did not sound good. Okay, right. 
let's try and escape this area as fast as we can. I believe the next area on, the little area above the next area across from here, requires us to be kind of stealthy. Which, if you know me, stealth is kind of my forte if uh, the mechanics for it are done right. And in this game, they are. Sometimes. But the wind kind of can uh, mesh up a little bit when you're trying to hide from them. And then the wind pushes you about a bit. You're like, no, I wanted to hide. Ah, uh, can get a little bit tricky. But I'm sure I'll manage it. I wonder where my uh, little carpet creature went. Has he gone home? Why was he even here in the first place? I don't know. But that's fine. I mean, I'd rather them be safe than have to, you know, follow me on my journey. Although, you know, would have been nice. I really do wonder if I have signed out or I'm just getting really unlucky with the people who are playing the game right now. Um, it's currently 20 past 5 in the afternoon, so I think that people would be on the games. I don't know. We saw some people earlier, though, so I suppose that's all well and good. All right, can I activate this? Is that a thing? Let's have a look, shall we? There we go. I can activate it, but I'm not exactly sure what it did, apart from light something up and give us the ability to fly slightly. Although I'm not really too sure where we'll be flying to. Um, and it's gone away. Is this just a temporary thing? Oh! Hang on. Do you reckon I can make that jump? Let's try again. Do I only get one chance? Please. I think I might be able to get up there, but I think I only have one chance to do it. Ah, oh dear. No. No. Maybe next time, then. Maybe next time. I really want to see if... I oh! Come on! I'm right here! Come on, guys! Please! No? No. Okay. Next time, then. I really want to see if I can make that jump. It seems like I could, you know? Seems like I could potentially jump up there. Maybe it's a secret. Maybe it's a little shortcut. Maybe it's just something different. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe you know what's there. But the next time I play, I will definitely have to go and find out what's up there. Or even if you can get up there. It's always a possibility that I can't even get there. One may never know. We'll have to find out, won't we? Alright, well this is getting really, really hard to traverse now. My controller's really vibrating and the character seems to have a lot of trouble moving. Oh my god, as you can see. Very, very difficult. And this is the part where we're going to need to be stealthy. That moon is gorgeous, by the way. But yeah, we need to be stealthy here because there's one of those, um, hmm, I'm not really too sure what to call them. But like, um, sentries, I'll say. So the sentries have those little beams that catch us that have caught us before. Oh dear. My apologies for that one. <laughs> it happens though, doesn't it? it? Just sometimes happens. So what we're going to try and do is uh, hide from these uh, sentries here in these little bunkers. Well, I guess they weren't originally bunkers. I guess they might have been originally... Uh, I guess they might have been shells of something. I'm not exactly sure. They seem like they might have been like parts of sentries. You know? I think that's why I might have said shell, because they seem to be like pieces of sentry. There we go. Oh, it's always tense. Are you trying to go through there? What is that over there? Can I get in? I need to get in quick. Oh dear. That seems like something I could activate, but I don't want to get too close. Also, when you traverse through this area, uh, the patterns of the sentry get different each time. So if you keep going further up, it'll change uh, its pattern. So that can be good, but it can also be very bad. So I'm going to need to wait patiently, look for its pattern. I think it's not going to be looking for us currently. But still, uh, there's a massive gap here. And I'm a bit worried it's going to find us. Fingers definitely crossed.
Okay, sorry about that. I haven't changed anything. Everything is still exactly the same as it was. I just have a few issues with my recording software every so often. Sometimes if I record for a very long time, it does get a little bit messed up and does uh, either stop recording or kind of crash in a sense, but everything should be fine. Not a problem. I just pause the game and then restart it back up. Some games you can't do that with, so uh, it can get a little bit tricky, but some games you can, thankfully, like this one. So, not a problem. Although, if I was playing with someone else, would the game have paused in the same way? Hmm, I'm not too sure. Maybe that's a blessing then. Yes, uh, alright, I think we might be good to go. Although I don't exactly know where the creature is, where's the sentry? There he is, he's over there. We might be able to make this. I want to explore behind me a little bit, but I also don't want to at the same time. It's very dangerous. I suppose if I had a teammate with me, who was willing to traverse the area with me so I could get some um, power on my scarf, I'd be more than willing to do that. But right now, not so much, especially considering I've got that sentry over there that could take us out. I'm not too sure if he can die, but it does seem like a possibility. Maybe you don't die, maybe your scarf just gets diminished so much that you just can't fly anymore, or it makes it very difficult to fly. Oh dear, patience, patience. That is actually really tense, because in this area here, we are so slow, we have no power, and if we get caught, I don't think there's a way out. God, I'm making a break for it. I probably shouldn't have done this. Oh no, the wind! That was a bit too close for my liking. Alright, um... I need to look for the safest place. Well, literally anywhere but here, of course, but right now... I don't exactly know where I need to be. Up there seems pretty safe. Let's have a quick run, shall we? Well, as fast as we can go, anyway. Come on, you can make it! Alright. One last bunker to hide in, and then I think we can make a break for it. I think. You can do this. Here we go. Whew. Oh, not yet. <laughs> that was close. Like I say, they changed their patterns up, so you gotta be cautious. You gotta be patient. Oh my god. Oh no, the wind! Please! So difficult. Although I am kinda glad we have a big scarf. It's just unfortunate we don't get to use it. And just like that, adversaries overcome, and our journey can continue. Hopefully, unimpeded.
Oh, well, once we got here, me and the guy I was playing with went down here hoping we'd find a secret, but there was no secret to be found. Unless, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm really not sure I could jump around there. Yeah, uh, we walked around there hoping to find something to extend our scarf, but nothing. That's okay, though. As you can see up here, very, very gusty. And um, what happened to us here, the first time playing through, is we got blown off the side, but we didn't die. I wonder if you can die here, though. Mm. Yeah, we didn't die. We actually went down there, as you can see down the right. We fell down there. Now I'm thinking, does that have to happen? Oh my god, I thought I was behind a rock. Oh wait, the wind's coming in like that. I see. Will the wind be coming down or in? Down. Okay. Oh! A little thing just appeared. Is someone here? We might have a friend. Oh, I moved a little bit too soon there. My apologies. I might have to wait again now. Ah, oh dear. I got distracted by a little bit of light. Was that a friend or was that just the, the little... Ah, oh, that could have been the uh, thing look, you know? Ah, oh dear. The little um, gust of wind. I don't think you can make it up there. I think you have to get pushed back. Hmm. Let's just try anyway. Oh, well, I made it up there. Ah, here we go. It looks like I can make it. But I'm not too sure about that. Like, where am I going to hide? Here? Yeah, it just pushes you straight off. Ah, oh dear. Well, that's totally fine. See what I mean? A little bit of light there. A little bit of light. On the side, left hand side. And it's moving as well. There is someone else here. Someone else is playing. I hope they catch up in time. I hope they're doing alright. I don't want to go back and save them, but I just uh, I just have to hope they know what they're doing and hope that they're doing okay and hope they catch up. Because I'm not going to slow down for them because we're nearly at the end of this chapter here. But um, I hope uh, they're okay, wherever they may be.